Hi, I'm Terry Lee from Terry Lee Honda in beautiful Avon. You know, TLC stands for the Terry Lee Commitment, and it's my personal promise to bring you the best that Indiana has to offer. This is why I'm proud to support Real Scene TV's Real Scene Maker. Real people making a real difference in our community. Real Scene TV, because everybody needs a little TLC. Well, no doubt you've seen the television shows where the people are investigating the crimes with all the cool gadgets. Well, on today's Terry Lee's Real Scene Maker, we sit down with IFD's Arts and Investigation Unit, and we find out that it's not always the big bad criminals creating the crimes. Sometimes it's the suspects you least expect. Did you know that juveniles account for more than 50% of arsons here in the United States? In today's Terry Lee's Real Scene Maker, we're going to take you inside of two very special places helping to combat those statistics. The Survive Alive Village in downtown Indianapolis, and we're going to hang out with IFD's Arts and Investigation Unit. So in today's Real Scene Maker, into our journey into arson investigation and arson prevention, we are here with Lieutenant Tony Head of the Arson Investigation Unit. Just walk me through a typical day when you guys get a call. Well, typically, uh, when we get a call, we're um, notified by our pager system. We respond as a team. There's a firefighter and then there's a police officer that goes out on the team. We, all, we both go together. But um, on the fire side, our main concern and, and things that we have to deal with is going inside the building, trying to figure out what the origin of the fire was, how the cause of the fire started. Unfortunately, to, to say is when kids get out of school during that time, um, right after that, we get a lot of our fires um, during that time, too. Okay, so we have moved the interview into the bedroom. We've done that for a reason, because we talked about children being the ones who start most of the fires and the arson. Tell me a little bit about why they picked the bedroom. Usually the kids, they pick the bedroom because it's almost like a safe haven for them. They feel comfortable um, being in the bedroom because they're always usually in there. So what they usually do is, um, if they start a fire, they'll kind of go in the closet sometimes or underneath the bed. And if Why children? Why do children lead the way in, in arson? They're, they're curious most of the time. Um, there's a lot of things that kind of go into effect as far as their environment that they're in and peer pressure, things like that. But a lot of times kids are just curious and just wanting to know about fires and everything. And so as a parent and you're watching this and you're worried that your child might be prone to this, what are some of the signs that you can look for? You can look for burnt paper that's uh, scattered around through the room and sometimes throughout the house. Sometimes they'll have little scorch marks inside the drawers, underneath the dresser, things like that. But little burn marks you see here and there, but they'll, they really won't be out where you can see them. They'll be behind the dressers, behind the bed, underneath the bed, in places where they think no one's really going to see it. So. For more information on the Fire Setters program and the Survive Alive Village, check out realscenetv.com. 